closing statements, uh, Heidi? Well, I want to thank you all for coming here today because by being here, you're demonstrating your interest in the space program, uh, the planetary program, the astrophysics program. As I've said repeatedly today, I think that these are incredibly valuable for the future of our country. And I hope that working together, we can find a way to make the kinds of missions that you heard about today a reality rather than just a dream of a future lost. The queue is empty. There's some missions underway now, but we don't refill the queue. We're going to have a, a lost record. Can't accept that. I will also say the following that NASA does ask, uh, I mean it's uh, only one half of 1% of the federal budget, but it's a chunk, okay? And it is the right of the American people to insist upon results in return for that funding. The planetary program has delivered results for this funding. The space astronomy program has delivered results for the put that, that funding. The human spaceflight program, at certain times, has delivered results for that funding, but it is currently not engaged in doing that. Okay? I think it needs to be put on a mission-driven basis. Um, I think if we're, uh, we have a right to expect results. If, if, if the President says that we should do an asteroid mission, it should be given to NASA's real engineers to figure out how to do an asteroid mission within five years because we can. It shouldn't be given to the Battlestar Galactic Fan Club at NASA headquarters to do uh, 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 visions about okay, um, the, for something to be done in 20, 30 years from now. I think um, that a mission-driven NASA is a successful NASA. It's a NASA that gives the nation and humanity what it once deserves and should have, and, and, and we shouldn't sell for anything else. And finally, as I said before, you know, in tough times, times of war, times of depression, okay, there are people who circumstance has placed in the role of the guardians of civilization. Okay. And they have a responsibility. They have a trust to guard. But they must act to preserve society's highest achievements regardless of, 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 of the havoc that reigns around them. And this is the responsibility that the guardians of the nation now have before them. They cannot let this program become a casualty of the current situation. We explore space for five or six reasons that I've collected over the last 35 years. It's for national interest, great pride, an accomplishment of a bold nation doing bold things. There's a return on investment. Even most conservative studies say you get two or three dollars back for every dollar you invest in space exploration. It inspires students, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, maybe even the arts, are thrilled by what we do when we go to Mars or look into the depths of the universe. It is a platform for international collaboration. Who ever thought we would be dependent today on our former adversaries? Some people even think we need to be establishing a second home for humanity, maybe so. For me, the driving reason because of my background and my interests is are we alone? We alone in the universe, and the space program has, I think, the best chance to help us figure that out. That's why we explore space. So, <clears throat> people often don't realize that we have this armada of 50, 60 spacecraft exploring the solar system, four of which will leave our solar system, and that's a, a true legacy to humanity. But we're on the verge of completing the initial reconnaissance of the worlds around us, Mercury, Venus, our own planet, of course, viewed from space, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. And on July 15, 2015, the New Horizons probe will fly past Pluto completing the sort of classical reconnaissance of the worlds around us. And that is a legacy that America has left. And that legacy 
shouldn't end there. That is the first step. Reconnaissance is the first step. These robots that we are so enamored with are our scouts. They're our virtual eyes and ears, senses, and we send them out there because we can't go yet. But we desperately want to go, and we need to go as a species for all the reasons that Scott and Robert and others have mentioned. And so uh, I, I come back to pioneering. I come back to the frontier. And I think this is part of America's new destiny to be the leader in this third great age of space exploration. I want to see it continue more than anything else. Thank you all.